Yeah, good luck, Alizzie. After all of that, I think it's time we join James over in the kitchen. He's serving up another delicious dish inspired by his recent adventure. Oh, we have to leave I'm the going babies here. We're going to walk over. <laughs> There's a lot of walking and talking I'm on this show it. nowadays. Uh, we're going to have a look at his brand new series. Here it is. Traditions are clearly very important in Catalonia, and I wanted to put my own twist on an authentic Catalan recipe back at my mountaintop villa. Now, this is a wonderful dish from around here. This is cannelloni. I love this. It's usually done with veal and pork, but I've got some beef and I've got some pork mince over here. Of course, you immediately think cannelloni comes from Italy, but here in Catalonia, it's traditionally served on Boxing Day, stuffed with leftover meat from Christmas dinner. Uh, we're very excited. We're here. Joel has joined us. I've Thank joined you for us. coming, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, Mar Martin, what are you making? Uh, this is cannelloni. It's a Spanish version Ooh. of uh, cannelloni. Uh, served all across <laughs> Spain. Uh, Barcelona <laughs> been probably the most famous place. All Catalan region, really. Particularly around this time of year, leading towards Christmas. They'll serve it with prawns and lobster and that kind of stuff. This is fresh as I don't even know what out, to do with this. Is this like... A, it's, it's, there's pasta inside oh, here. Yeah, yeah, it's just Ugh. come out of the oven. So oh, wow. What I'm going to okay, do with this, first of all, is just warm up the sauce bit. So I'm going to take yeah, a little bit please. of the milk. Oh, God. It's... Oh, it's just... <laughs> we need a bigger spoon. <laughs> you need a bigger spoon. We're going to wow. need a bigger plate. Oh, well done, well. Thank you, darling. Bigger spoon. Now, the reason for this is... The reason why I wanted to do this, really... Travelling all around Spain was amazing, right the way down to the south, obviously, Cadiz, and uh, amazing tuna as well. The tuna in Cadiz is just phenomenal. Um, but over in the north, particularly, this is where this becomes famous, and, and it's famous for its food, really. <laughs> San Sebastian been the, sort of the old, old capital of sort of yeah. uh, uh, food around uh, the whole of Europe. Yeah. But uh, all the Catalan, really, north of Barcelona, there's an amazing restaurant called... El Sela Can Roca, and I think we've got a little clip of it. But it's, is this it's, the three brothers? You this is the three earlier. brothers, and, and the reason why I want to do this dish, it becomes it's quite obviously very very famous. This all over uh, northern Spain, particularly all over Spain. This anyway, but particularly there, uh, the Sela Can Roca brothers are one of the greatest chefs in the world. His brother is one of the best wine waiters in the world. And his other brother is one of the best pastry chefs. That's crazy. And they've got this restaurant called El Sela Can Roca. It's one of the greatest restaurants in the world. It's been voted number one in the world twice what? over the last few years. Wow. Um, and they do this amazing trip every, every day. Uh, they have two brigades, one in the morning, one in, one in the afternoon, they work in the kitchen. And every day they, they walk to their... Well, the, the brother's mother's restaurant, but uh, Mama's restaurant, they walk to where they train and where they were brought up and around food, and they walk up with all the chefs, all the waiters, all the staff from the restaurant every single day. The whole town watches all these chefs go up and all the oh, waiters wow. up to this restaurant, and they have cannelloni in the restaurant. They, wow. and this is the, this so is this is like the staff's food? Yeah, this is, the, this is like the staff food, but it's, I mean, it's just a phenomenal, it's phenomenal place. the best place. one in the world. Yeah, number one in the world. El Sela Can Roca. Have it's they been, been to all of them, though? Twice. Sorry? Have they been to all of them? Uh, all the restaurants been to in the world. quite a few, yeah. I mean, it gets voted by your peers as well. Wow. It's had three missing stars for decades. It does sound uh, like a so celebration good. of food. But it is a celebration of food, and particularly when you go around Spain anyway. It's a, there's, a, there's a whole host of different things. If you're on about the costas and, you know... Wow. Everybody's creature habit. Oh, they go to the same place on holiday mm. all the time. If you're going to go to costas, go to a place called Denia, uh, which is incredible. Denia's got produces this amazing shrimp. Mm. And I thought the best shrimp in the world was the Longestine. The no. Denia shrimp. Is it is similar the, and it's Longestine? caught in this little sort of valley in the sea. Uh, and the fisherman goes out every single day, five in the morning till five o'clock at night, and he brought about 80 of these shrimp. Uh, and How big are they? Little? So they're they about big? that sort of size. Mm. They're graded one to... Th all shrimp is graded one to five. One yeah. to, so the, the larger the number... So the smaller the number, the larger the shrimp. So oh. when you buy prawns, it's 16s or 8s. There's 8 wow. per kilo or 8 per pound. That's how they judge them. But that's how it's... But anyway, you've got on here a nice little sauce. This is the key to what you've just been diving into over here. We've got a combination of two different types of things, pork and beef. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned the fact that pork's amazing in Spain. Beef's amazing in Spain as well. Um, and then you can put things like ham in there as mm -hmm. well. Love it. Oregano, touch of that. Good pinch of salt. And do go. they go inside pre-cooked tubes? Or... No, you just get the dried ones like oh, that. Right. And you I've just... never seen that before. No. Mm. That's amazing. You just, you just pop it in here. I mean, they're so, so simple to prepare. Like I said, Banging at Christmas that raw time. Meat in there. 
You think of pasta, you think of Italy, but you think of Christmas time, you think <laughs> of Russia. Russia. Yeah. Before. You think so of, you, you think of uh, uh, the, it's Christmas time to have it with prawns and lobster mm. and that kind of stuff. You can fill it with anything you like. You can fill it with anything you like. That's the whole I idea. I just licked my fingers and realised I just changed a nappy. <laughs> 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 Don't do that again. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. And then you pour the sauce over the top, like that. Put, put plenty of sauce on it as well. Yeah, it is actually. Plenty of sauce on it. And then manchego cheese. We talked about manchego. It has to come from manchego oh, cheese. I love that stuff. This manchego cheese. It, and the great thing about it, it's like parmesan. Yeah. Mm. When you have manchego and it's in Spain and it, you're in manchego and you at the home of it. It's unbelievable. This stuff is incredible. Yeah. It ages like Parmesan cheese. It's just incredible. The colour changes Are massively. you allowed to bring it back when you're in Spain? Uh, well, really. you, well, I would go careful. It's all to do with Brexit and everything now. It's oh, so right. very, very difficult now Normally to bring Normally at the back. airport, they, send, they tend to... You can buy it in bits and pieces, but... It, yeah. Leave, your, leave the, the meat same. and the stuff like that. Right. You, can, you can actually... I mentioned the fact of this beef. You can actually buy the beef online. Um, and it has this, this, this beef that we talked about earlier, this... Um, Old cattle, you can actually buy it online, but it's yeah. incredible. Look, you take this, you cook it in the oven for about mm. half an hour. Look at that. Wow. That is and you delicious. end up with this one that's coming straight I mean, out of the oven. put that in the middle of the table, then you just want to dive oh, no. straight and in, don't you? Classic, classic tapas as well. Tapas doesn't have to be what I said to you earlier. It can be a mm. selection of anything. Roasted veg, particularly in the south of Spain, they have this, they call it the veg garden of Europe. And it's quite interesting when we went there, that obviously the temperature, the climate's changing, how they're suffering as well in terms of their really? produce. Um, lack of water, um, lack Backs of everything. Doesn't yeah, it? exactly. But a th little bit of that, a little bit of sherry vinegar, touch of salt, nothing else. That's all you need. A little bit. Of I love that you travel to these places and just come back so entirely inspired. It's yeah, so yeah. Nice. Some lovely to say. Best food in the world in Spain. Mm. It really is, and it hopefully gives you a little insight. Toledo, absolutely, you've got to go see Toledo. It's beautiful. I can't wait. Well, the show's the on later on today. It is. And it two o'clock, I think. Runs it's on. for uh, next next month. And then the cookbook that goes with the series. You've got to wait a little bit for that. End we'll of talk that, about yeah. that another time. But it's lovely, lovely to see you. Thank it's a you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, delicious. Thanks for having me. Enjoy yourself. Good luck to you. See you tomorrow night. <laughs> right, the loose women are 